It's a quiet little town. Days go by, steady as ever. I wanted more for myself, but... It's a quiet little town. Days go by, steady as ever. I wanted more for There's myself. no way I'm leaving until I find what Fuller is hiding. Ethan. Marie, I... What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. Why? You're not here for treatment, right? Am I so obvious? <laughs> Only to me. I know you worry about me. I trust you. I'm happy to see you. Me too, Ethan. Is that all? Well, there might be something else. I'm not sure. Tell me. I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do you think it might be related to Fuller's work? I don't know yet, but I will figure all this out. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patients here. Where did my fiance go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Dr. Colden. Do you want something? This man, Edward Pierce, his file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? Thank you for your help, Doctor. Thank you. I'll be going. The key to the boiler room is missing. Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Please, the fewer interruptions there are, the faster I'll be finished. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. little time for you, Doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. But rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Thank you. 
Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. The door to the boiler room is locked. I have to get the key if I wish to get rid of Donovan. We're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. Once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. who pays. Everything all right, Dr. Colden? All is well, Elizabeth. Thank you. Thank God. Courage, Elizabeth. Thank you, Doc. Please, the few interrupt. The boiler room key is not in its place. Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. Dr. Colden? Would you know where the key to the boiler room is? Betty didn't put it back in its place? Well, she took it to lock the door. I'll ask her. Thank you. Would you know where the key to the boiler room is? Betty didn't put it back in its place? Well, she took it to lock the door. I'll ask her. Thank you. I'll be going. I think that you're needed in Block B, Doctor. We're running out of this medicine. I Once again, can't you do Donovan take. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the, the one answers who must be hidden in Fuller's office. Please, I'll be in trouble with Mrs. Donovan if I'm late. Please, the f Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. Dr. Colden. Would you know where the key- Betty didn't put it back in its place? Well, she took it to lock the door. I'll ask her. I'll be go-
Is everything all... Yeah, I just... I will work and... Oh. I don't get why they have us waiting so long. Almost no patients here. Dr. Colden? Hello, Betty. I'm looking for the key to the boiler room. What for? To put it in its place. Perhaps I should do the same with you. I beg your pardon? I suspect you of having a little too much fun at Elizabeth's expense. But be warned, it could easily be you they will all be laughing at tomorrow. You are right, Doctor. The, the, the key is in the dormitory office in, in Block B. Thank you. I shall go fetch it. The key to the boiler room. All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. Mrs. Donovan? I'm busy. Elizabeth, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. But it's about the water. What now? It's off. It's not my fault. Nothing is ever your fault. I told you to control the flow. Even if I know it's not your strong point. I've apologized a thousand times. I haven't counted that many. But then, unlike you, I don't have time to keep track. Please, Mrs. Donovan. I'm grateful to you for having kept me on despite that incident. I just need the water to be put back on. Otherwise, the bathroom will quickly become a nest of germs. Oh. Very well. I'll finish what I'm doing, and then I'll fix your blunders once more. Thank you, ma'am. A 
last. The missing files must be hidden here. syndrome. Of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. I've unlocked something. Patient files. I was right. Conclusions, session number 17. Patient, Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls the mythos. It goes without saying that the cure will be the principal price that comes with her exception. Why is Ethan on medication? Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, I presumed that her blood was the key. But I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. This finger belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then James came. I read that Charles was keeping secrets from him. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. I am prepared. Hawkins, Fitzroy and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It is fortunate that I had the presence of mind to set the mall in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Hawkins is the connection. I must go back to the basement.
Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. Talk, filthy thief! Oh, I swear I'll shoot! Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead! No. He was here for a very specific item. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait! No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. All right. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Now go! Rescue the Doctor! Thank you, Drake. 